Hello. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Alan Carr, creator of Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking Method, and Robin Haley, who's not only Alan Carr's senior therapist, but as managing director of Alan Carr's Easy Way International, oversees worldwide clinic and publishing operations. Hello, Alan and Robin. Hello. Hello. Before we move on to discuss Alan Carr's Easy Way method, I just want to spend a few minutes talking about you personally. Alan, prior to discovering Easy Way, what was your background? I was born into a working class family in Putney, London, and was a street urchin for most of my school days. But I did pass the 11 plus and went to a grammar school. I was obsessed with sports, but was good at maths. I qualified as a chartered accountant, and even though I hated the work, I ended up as financial director of a division of trying toys. Did you come from a similar background, Robin? Actually, no. My father was a psychoanalyst and my mother an anthropologist. They sent me to a good school. Like Alan, I was very keen on sports at school and also did well academically. I went on to study modern languages at Oxford University, where I got a Master of Arts degree. And later I studied in London to get another master's degree, this time in business administration. And at what age did you both start smoking? I experimented when I was 11 and was violently sick. I dabbled again as an article clerk, but it was really national service that sealed my fate. In those days, a man was regarded as a sissy if he didn't smoke. We had regular breaks, not to rest, but for a smoke. The miracle was how any youngster managed to avoid the trap. I stole one of my brother's Gitan filterless when I was 15. It nearly killed me, but I persevered and ended up on 60 a day. Alan, what do you remember about your first meeting? Robin attended one of my sessions in the early days. He was clearly a very confident and articulate young man. He'd already grasped the principles halfway through the session and spent the second half actually helping me to explain them to the other smokers in the group. And Robin, what were your first impressions of Alan Carr? Well, although it was before Alan had become a major celebrity, uh, he was already well known and it was refreshing to see it hadn't gone to his head. Uh, he was modest and self-effacing. As we went through the session, I began to realise that he was highly intelligent. I found the way he explained how nicotine addiction works fascinating, and the way his method removed my fears of stopping smoking was ingenious. And from that first meeting your relationship developed, how did you get involved professionally? Well, I must admit that even before my session ended, I decided not only to stop smoking, but also to try to convince Alan to train me so that I could help others quit. I already had a vision then of Alan Carr's Easy Way clinics all over the world. I repeatedly wrote to Alan, he finally agreed to take me on, and we set up the second clinic together in Birmingham, England in 1991. I ran that for five years and was fortunate enough to be promoted to managing director of the organisation. I'm happy to say that the vision I had has now become a reality, although there's still a huge amount to achieve. Your partnership has been extraordinarily successful. Together you've taken the Alan Carr method all over the world and created an international network of clinics. I regard myself as exceedingly fortunate to have Robin as both a collaborator and a friend. Um, as a former accountant, I'm well aware that the majority of partnerships end up in disaster. Our association has already lasted 16 years. We've had differences of opinion, but never a, a single rift. However, and I know that I speak for Robin as well, the success of EasyWay is not just attributable to our partnership. We've received applications from all over the world, from people who successfully quit with the method and felt inspired to open EasyWay clinics. We still receive dozens of applications every week. One great advantage is that the number and calibre of the people who approach us. We're able to select top quality applicants for each country. I see you have clinics in many different countries, places as diverse as UK and Colombia, France and Ecuador, Germany and Mexico, Spain and Australia. It surprises many people that you are so strong internationally, especially in countries where you think smoking was most popular, almost part of the culture, Spain, Italy and France, for example. Why do you think that is? I never had any doubt that the method would work 
for any smoker. Whatever the nationality, race, culture, religion, class, colour or background, the psychology of the smoker is the same. Added to that, deep down all smokers want to stop. So the global dimension to our success shouldn't really be surprising. The clinics are clearly very popular indeed, understandably, given that you offer the clients a money-back guarantee. And I gather your books have also been incredibly successful. Yes. The first book, Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking, has already sold over 6 million copies in 47 countries and been translated into 28 different languages. This proves that the Alan Carr method can work for any smoker in any culture. Now, I want to move on to the method itself. Alan, you claim you were at one time the worst nicotine addict you had ever known and had found it impossible to quit and had given up even trying. That's true, yeah. You also claim that on the 15th of July, 1983, you extinguished your final cigarette. You knew that you were already a non-smoker, that you had no withdrawal pangs, physical or mental, were immediately able to enjoy social occasions more and felt better able to concentrate and cope with stress. That's what actually happened. Well, many people will find that hard to believe. And you also claim that any smoker can find it just as easy and enjoyable to quit as you did. That is also true. But do you really expect people to believe that, Alan? I'd expect people to be less sceptical than they were in 1983 when I started on my mission. After all, we've just been talking about the worldwide success of the method. That hasn't been achieved by a massive marketing campaign, but almost exclusively by word of mouth. Robin was one of my earlier clients and was so impressed with the Easy Way that he gave up a lucrative career in business management in order to join the cause. Between us and with the support of our worldwide team of therapists, we've already enabled millions of smokers to escape from the nicotine trap. Why else would I be widely regarded as the world's leading expert on helping smokers to quit? Well, can you explain briefly how any smoker can find it enjoyable to quit immediately, easily and permanently? The nicotine trap is the most subtle, ingenious confidence trick that Mother Nature and mankind have combined to create. Like all confidence tricks, once you've seen through it, you won't fall for it again. The nicotine trap is very simple in itself, but it's confused and distorted by a series of illusions and misconceptions. Smokers arrive at our clinics in various states of panic, believing we're going to relate horror stories about the, the damage smoking is doing to their lungs, and that in order to quit, they have to endure an, an indefinite period of misery and depression, and that even if they do succeed, social occasions will never be quite as enjoyable, and that they will be less able to concentrate, answer the phone, or cope with stress without a cigarette. It takes us about five hours to remove these illusions and misconceptions so that they leave the clinics already happy non-smokers. And what is the success rate at your clinics? We give a money-back guarantee to all clients at our clinics. If they don't stop for at least three months after the course, they're entitled to full refund of the fee. The success rate measured by the money-back guarantee is over 90%. Have there been any studies of your method? And if so, what did they conclude? An independent scientific study recently concluded that even after 12 months, the success rate at Alan Carr clinics is still over 53%. This is exceptionally high, especially when you bear in mind that according to the research, willpower alone succeeds for only about 5% of people, and nicotine replacement therapy, such as nicotine gums and patches, is claimed by the manufacturers to double that, although we would dispute that claim. Our method is quite simply the most effective available. Why don't you think nicotine replacement therapy is effective? Smoking is nicotine addiction. How can you break the addiction by giving addicts the drug they're addicted to? It's like telling a heroin addict who's smoking the drug off foil to start injecting it instead. Even the term nicotine replacement therapy is highly misleading. Nicotine is not being replaced and there's certainly no therapy. It should be called nicotine continuation treatment. The drug companies are selling nicotine to addicts, just like the tobacco companies. 
Alan, I gather you don't have much time for scientific studies. Why is that? Because they're, they're not scientific. They, they judge success purely by the length of time that has elapsed since a smoker has survived without smoking. The accepted standard is 12 months. That's a purely random period without any scientific basis. Some ex-smokers who haven't smoked for over a year actually attend our clinics because they're still moping for a cigarette. I once stopped for six months on willpower, but I didn't feel like a non-smoker because the craving wouldn't go. The moment I extinguished my final cigarette on 15th July 1983, I was already a happy non-smoker and had no cravings. The real difference between a smoker and a non-smoker is not how long they've gone without smoking, but whether they have a need or a desire to smoke. Easy Way is so successful because it removes the feeling of deprivation. In addition to that, the verification methods used in these so-called scientific studies are highly unscientific. Many rely on the smoker's word that they've quit. But smokers, like all drug addicts, lie about that. Others rely on carbon monoxide levels on the smoker's breath. But they show a non-smoker's reading after just a few hours of not smoking. According to the money-back guarantee we give at, them, at our clinics, the success rate is over 90%. I believe that's a better guide to the effectiveness of EasyWay than studies based on incorrect and unreliable criteria. I see you have many international blue chip corporate clients, such as Coca-Cola, BMW, Microsoft, Sony, IBM, DHL, Esso, Levi Strauss, DuPont, Virgin, Ikea, the list seems endless. And many top health insurance companies offer to subsidize your service for their policyholders. Why don't governments and health, national health services use the Alan Carr method? Well, that's a very good question. We have made progress in several countries. For example, a programme on German television that delivered the Alan Carr method was endorsed by the German Minister of Health. And the Norwegian Minister of Health publicly declared that all smokers should get a copy of our book. But it's been very difficult even to get a meeting with the UK government or National Health Service representatives. Why is that? Well, a number of reasons, I think. One is that these bodies are often reluctant to consider a treatment that can't be put in a pill, boxed and prescribed because it's just more complicated for them. The other is the power of the pharmaceutical industry. In fact, there's a great story out there for any journalist who wants to look into this issue. It's not just the tobacco companies which have a vested interest in nicotine addiction. The pharmaceuticals have as well. There's a huge and highly profitable industry that relies on smokers' continuing dependence on nicotine. Alan, I've heard you have some controversial views on the effectiveness of smoking bans, which appear to be spreading all over the world. In the late 1920s, the USA banned alcohol because it was ruining people's lives. Did that solve the problem? No. It merely created another one, organised crime. You can't force people to change their lifestyle just because other people don't approve of it. Many smokers agree with smoking bans in the hope that it'll help them escape from the trap. But just as smokers can't force themselves not to smoke, so bans make smoking appear more essential rather than less so. Each cigarette seems more precious because you've had to wait for it. And if it means you end up smoking less, then the bad effects of your health and, and, and wealth are reduced and so you're less likely to make the attempt to quit. But what about the people working in smoke-filled offices, bars and clubs, for example, who are damaged by passive smoking? Well, smoking bans do protect people in the workplace, and for that reason alone I can sympathise with them to an extent. But they're not the answer to the problem. All smokers hate the thought of their children or grandchildren smoking, which means they wish they weren't smokers themselves. Easy Way can enable any smoker to quit. So let's remove this addiction from the planet, then passive smoking will cease to be an issue. Apart from smoking, how else has your method been used? Easy Way has been successfully applied to all drug addictions, including alcohol, cannabis, heroin and cocaine. And we also have a successful weight control program. People often think that you're American, although you're obviously English. Why do they make that mistake? I don't know. Well, I think it's because Alan's method is easy, 
full of positive messages and highly successful, characteristics that some people might tend to associate with Americans rather than the English. Ironically, even in the UK, Alan is still sometimes hailed as the world-famous American stop-smoking guru. <laughs> Alan, how does it feel to have written a book that has sold six million copies and have a network of stop-smoking clinics that spans the globe? It feels fantastic that there are still millions of smokers out there who need our help. And finally, Alan, for those people watching this interview, before viewing the main programme, why should this DVD work for them? Because it is easy to stop smoking. That's a fact. Easy way doesn't make it easy. It simply removes the illusions and misconceptions that make it difficult. I can't explain how it works in just a few minutes, and even if I tried, you'd probably miss the point. But I guarantee that if you absorb the program with an open mind and follow the simple instructions, you'll become a happy non-smoker. So why not just sit back, relax, and enjoy the process? <laughs>